So this is an update on a concept clearance which we had brought to council in May of 2011 that we had received recommendation from council to put out as a notice instead and then follow the field and see how it progressed. So as you may remember, the results from the GWAS catalog have now found over 1,500 genome-wide associations at a level of P five times 10 to the minus eighth for over 200 traits. However, even now, there are still only about eight hits that have been found on the X chromosome, which is one more than there were a year ago. And last year, we brought a concept clearance for the whole chip, which proposed to support a broader utilization of genome-wide association data looking primarily at the X chromosome as well as the Y chromosome, mitochondrial DNA, as, and CNV analysis. And the goal of this was to look at this underutilized data and facilitate a more comprehensive analysis of this data in genome-wide association studies to develop and validate new methods for analyzing this data and put forward new analytical strategies and statistical methods that would be widely available to the community. There were a number of recommendations that were made at Council a year ago. The first one of these was to go forward with publishing a notice rather than putting out a RFA for this initiative and to try and encourage applications to come in through the unsolicited mechanisms with R01, R03, and R21 uh, applications. To present this finding at a number of meetings and try and kind of get the word out, write a paper on the findings that we have and publish it in a prominent journal to return to council in about a year and present what we found so far, which is what we're doing now, and to remove the CNV part from this because there was really a feeling from council that CNVs were a little bit more advanced than some of these other data types from the, on the X chromosome, the Y chromosome, and the mitochondrial DNA. And so we have issued a notice. We did remove the CNV part from the concept, but this is basically the same idea that was brought forward in the concept clearance that's put, put into this notice. And the goals are fundamentally the same to facilitate this type of analysis in these underutilized data types. So we're hoping for individuals to put forward applications that would analyze existing GWAS data for the Y chromosome, X chromosome, and mitochondrial variants to focus on data sets that have not previously been analyzed, as well as to develop new methodologies and disseminate this to the field in general. And we'd really like to hope that this would also include diverse populations. So far, we've gotten our first batch of applications that have gone through uh, peer review and are hoping to get a couple of them that will come out of that and be funded. We've put forward a number of presentations over the past year. We presented at the Genomics of Common Disease meeting as well as HGV and the American Society of Human Genetics meeting. We've presented this internally at the Director's Forum quarterly meeting. And we have been working on an X chromosome commentary discussion with a journal currently that we're hoping will be published soon. And then just to give you an update on the numbers, this is the data that we presented a year ago to council looking at the percentage of genome-wide association papers that are published in the GWAS catalog that analyzed the X chromosome. And we've now completed a number of more months' worth of analysis. And as you can see, the trend is approximately the same with about 33% of the papers looking at the X chromosome. So it looks like this isn't something that has really changed over time. Even in the following year, we still have only eight hits in the GWAS catalog that are showing up as significant, meeting GWAS catalog standards. And we really feel that this is an area that really does still need some uh, stimulus to be able to bring forward new methodologies that are accepted by the community and hope to be funding some grants in this area soon. So if you have any questions, I will take those now. Yes. As I think the noisiest one against this a year ago, I guess I was wrong. Thanks for bringing the data. <laughs> Thank you. Anything else? Anyone? Okay. Thank you. <laughs>